What's up everybody, it's me E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews and today we're gonna review Us. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Weird. Okay, let's get into a quick intro. A family's peaceful vacation turns into a nightmare as a group of doppelgangers begin to terrorize them. All right, let's get right into the good. The good. First and foremost, Lapita's acting was fantastic throughout this entire film. Like, can we go ahead and just add her nomination to the list for the Best Actress Award? The crazy thing about it is that while we know she's obviously playing two different characters, she completely transforms herself so much that you become immersed in the idea that it's literally two separate people on screen. For example, in the scene where she first confronts her doppelganger in the family's living room, Lapita takes her acting to a whole new level. She was able to lay it all out on the line to show a ridiculous amount of range in her acting. She became completely relatable and extremely captivating whenever she was on screen. Now the supporting cast in this movie was pretty good, but I think it's easy to say that among them, Winston Duke was the definite standout. He encompassed the role of the corny father character, including the expected dad jokes. Duke owned probably most of the comedic relief in the film in a very effective way that didn't feel forced or unbelievable. As a matter of fact, one thing I will say about us is the fact that the humor was something unexpected but very welcome. Personally, I believe that humor is to horror as water is to oil. The two simply don't always mix and oftentimes they cancel each other out. However, Jordan Peele found a masterful way to make the humor work within the horror elements of the film. There are even moments where the music that was being played added a level of humor despite the fact that you might still be on edge given a suspenseful scene. The score was just as much of a character and aspect of this movie as any other character. It was so brilliantly used throughout the movie. The recreation of making I Got Five on it into a familiar horror cadence was the perfect touch for this movie. When it comes to the setting and the tone for this film, Us definitely delivered with communicating a thrilling and sometimes eerie atmosphere from beginning to end. While it might be debatable whether this movie was more of a thriller or horror, it absolutely had the ability to keep audiences engaged and on the edge of their seats. Even the jump scares in this movie were not overly cheesy nor predictable. Director and writer Jordan Peele did not hold back in displaying his technical prowess and directorial skills. One thing I really appreciated was how he was able to use the cinematography to tell parts of the story. For example, there's a clever moment where Peele will shoot the character telling a story, but the audience would be watching the character's reflection in the window as they spoke. Scenes like that were just an interesting way to reinforce the theme of duality that the movie is obviously trying to convey. Last but not least, there are a number of social themes explored throughout this film. The most prevalent and obvious themes that the movie takes on are the themes of duality and otherness. While these themes might not be portrayed in a very simple fashion, once you're able to analyze the film on a deeper level, you can definitely appreciate the messages that Jordan Peele was trying to communicate. Okay, enough of that, let's get right into the bad. The bad. Now without getting into spoiler territory, probably the biggest point of contention with the movie Us is going to be in the story itself. To be more specific, I'm referring to maybe the final 20 minutes or so of the film. The direction that is taken, in my opinion, was not very effective in communicating the narrative that was probably intended by Jordan Peele. In a sense, it felt like the movie was trying to do too much, too fast, and too little time towards the end. The ending for us is going to have people asking a lot of questions, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, even though the movie does try to answer a lot of those questions in a straightforward fashion. One of the complications here is the fact that when it does try to answer a question, it only prompts even more questions. One way or another, you're gonna be left with trying to connect the dots with different motivations and points of the story from maybe one-off lines that were said all the way in the beginning of the film. And in my opinion, that is gonna be a bit of an arduous task for audiences to do. 
Now, whether people will pay enough attention to those breadcrumbs and put all those pieces together by the end of the movie, that's gonna be the real challenge for this film. The concept for the overall plot for us is a fascinating one, but I just don't think it translated very well. Okay, enough of that, let's get right into the reason. The reason. Us is a fresh and unique homage to the old school horror movies with a splash of social commentary. There are a number of familiar elements in the movie compared to other horror films such as The Shining, The Strangers, and the Twilight Zone series. Us gets a lot of credit for its originality and Jordan Peele continues to pave his own path in the film industry. The first two thirds of the movie is pretty entertaining and will probably overrule any type of misgivings that some people may have with the final ending of the film. I believe, however, that the ending is also going to be the most interesting aspect of this movie, mainly because I think it's going to have a lot of mixed reactions from general audiences. I thought that the ending was a little bit too convoluted and it might run the risk of confusing some people. Actually, the ending might even turn some people completely off. And I'll be honest, it took me and a number of other audience members a while to fully flesh out the film after the showing. In some cases, that's actually a good thing for a movie to get people talking and thinking. In other cases, the questions that are raised can also lead the audience members to have a negative reaction or experience to the movie just because they might not have understood the plot. So when it comes to us, I think there's gonna be a mixture of all of that. So when it comes to the rating for us, I've gotta give it a seven and a half out of 10. The most important piece of advice I can give to somebody going in to watch us is not to conflate us with Get Out, even though I know that's kind of tempting for some people to do. Both films do share stylistic similarities to one another, and given the success of Get Out, it's natural to walk into us hoping for similar success. It's no different than when a music artist drops a really hot album, and then when their second album comes out, people are gonna want more of the same. But sometimes that artist is gonna drop something slightly different and you have to treat each album individually. That has to be the same case with Get Out and with Us. Now, if you've seen my last video where I showed you my initial reaction after seeing Us, you probably thought that I hated the movie. Well, I don't hate the movie and it's not a bad movie. This movie is going to give people a lot to process and to think about. And that's kind of like what was going on with me right after the movie. It's not your typical horror film. It's actually very much in line with the likes of a Twilight Zone type of story. And that's why I try to recommend for people to go in and watch this movie with as low expectations as possible. So that way, when you do go in and watch the movie, you can come out of it with the best possible experience. Not to mention, it doesn't hurt to go watch this movie as a matinee or $5 Tuesdays, not because it's bad, but it's really just to manage your expectations. Cause some people are super, super excited to go see us and it's justified because Jordan Peele has already given us enough to be excited about. However, again, because I think the ending is gonna be a little bit mixed in terms of its reception, I don't want people to be coming in like this and then leaving out like this and then calling the movie this. So by all means, feel free to go watch us in theaters and have a good time. There's a very good chance that this movie is gonna call for a repeat viewing, so you can kinda go back and see all the little things that you missed. By the way, I know that this movie is going to raise a lot of questions, and it's going to leave a couple of people in the dark, so I'm going to go ahead and just make an explainer video to hopefully answer some questions people might have had, or just basically make this movie make a little bit more sense. So if you have seen the movie, and let's just say you have a couple general questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll try and answer those in the next upcoming video so please stay tuned for that so are you excited to go see us if you have seen it let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below there's certainly a lot to talk about with this movie for sure if you think this review was helpful feel free to share it with your friends and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing for more i've got more videos and reviews to do for you all and until next time i'll see you all later